Hello and welcome back. Last time we talked about join and so on. Yeah? This time we want to count something. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's necessary to count some entries. How many entries are there? How many do have, I don't know, phone numbers and so on? How many different addresses we got? This or how old? Yeah? How many people are below 18? How many people are above 18? for instance. Such things we are going to discuss now. There is, there is of course, a, a command. We can, we do not have to count by ourselves. There is an SQL command, which is called count. Okay. The syntax is rather easy. So the syntax We always, if we want to get something out, we always have to do a select. So we select. You see, this is this is part of the table here. I already displayed it for you. So this is the part of the table, and we select the count. This count is now new, and we have to select a column name. So I will select the student ID, and also from student list. Now I select the count, the number of student IDs. Let's see, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, perfect. Uh, well, this is how it's working. Over. No, there are some hints. There are some hints. For instance, if I do not count the student ID, if I do count something else, like student phone one, okay, I count now this column, student phone, student phone column. Yeah. Let's see what's the result. One. This means null values are not counted at all. If I really want to count how many entries there are, it's as a good practice. To, to count the, the primary key because this must be there huh? and must be unique. So I get everything. I can even I can even uh, use a where clause. Okay, so I could, for instance, uh, write I'll copy this now here. Book. What have I done? Select the count from student ID as address count. Yeah. Where student from student list where student address is three. Yeah. So I will use the select statement from before here, and I will not use student mail. I will use student address let's have a look one one two three persons do have address number three and this is the address count so the where clause is possible i can say count something where from our example before yeah that i said we want to know who is younger and who is older. Yeah? We could, for instance, that, that we need a little bit more. Yeah? We need a little more. There are also functions inside. I show you some. Yeah? So I select now the count of student ID. Okay. And I give it a name smaller than 15. I want to know every person which is younger than 15 from stu student list, not Strichpunkt. We're going on from student list. Okay. Then where student born is bigger than, and of course I could remember what day is now. Uh, and 15 years back must be 15 years and so on 
and simply enter the date. Or I could use, look at that, uh, add date. This is a function which adds two dates to each other. Okay, one date I use the current date. And the second date, I use minus 15 years. So I use the current date and add minus 15 years to the current date. Okay. How is it working? Here, I have to select two dates and these two dates will be added to each other. So one date is the current date. This is also working. Just write current date, you get the current date. At least you get the date which is adjusted on the server where MariaDB is running. If this is wrong, this is also wrong. But nowadays with network time protocol and so on, it should work. Hey, current date. And now I have, this is, looks a little bit strange, interval minus 15 year. Okay. Interval is always giving back some interval yeah? and then I give a number and then I give something else. Yeah? I could write year, yeah? I could write, I don't know, uh, usually if you do not write anything, it stays. Yeah? If I just would write here minus 15, it stays. It's the current date, minus 15 days. Yeah? If I want to have something else, yeah? I have to write interval, then what I want to have, minus 15, and then I could write second. Okay, so there's microsecond, there is second, there's minute, there is hour, there's day, there is week, there's month, there's quarter, and there is year. But I want to know who is younger than 15 years. Okay, interval 15 years. More. Let's look. Book. One. Hmm. Only one. Only one is younger than 15 years. Let's have a look. Yeah. Student born. Back. 15 years. Really. Huh? It's only one. Now you also know add date and current date, the interval and so on. There are a number, there are a number of uh, functions like this. Yeah? You can look them up in the internet. Uh, but please be aware that here the systems do have slight differences. They, uh, slight dif they have differences. Yeah? MariaDB is at date. I don't know. In, in, in MySQL uh, is also at date. And SQL Server, it's, it's uh, not current date, it's get date. Uh, uh, in, in, in SQL Server, it's not, it's not add date, it's date add. Huh? Huh? But, you know, it functions very much the same way. Yeah. There are similarities. Okay, uh, if I want to group such things, huh? if I want to group them, not only get out, who is younger than 15, but who is younger than 15, who is younger than 25, who is younger than 35, who is younger than 45, and so on. Yeah, I could simply use this statement. Look at this. I will copy this. Whoa, huh? Oh, <laughs> select. Yeah? First select. Select count from student list where student born is younger than 15. This is what we've got before. Yeah? This is the first column of our auto select. Yeah? Here, next column of our auto select would then be between minus 15 and minus 25 between minus 25 and so on and so on. And I also write S yeah? and I also give them a name. Yeah? And let's see what is the result of this. Ba -ba. Smaller than 15, one. There's no one younger than 25. There are three younger than 
35. There are one younger than, yeah, and so on. And one is even older than 65. Strange students, huh? Ah, yeah. I will fix this. I will fix this in our next video. Yeah. I will st straight this out and make a real students list, not some just examples. Yeah. A real huge sample yeah, with 40 students or something like this with reasonable dates, let's say. Uh, select count. There is one behavior which might astonish you. Yeah? So if I select, for instance, from here you see I've already prepared ooh, the students and so on. Uh, let's have a look at the legal guardian list. Back. This is my legal guardian list, my current legal guardian list. And you see, actually there are, there are three different addresses. Yeah? There is address 4, there is address 3, there is address 5. However, if I just select the count of address, I get 6. Aha! This is because everyone has an entry, an address entry. Yeah? There are six addresses and they are the same, yeah, but we count them. It's not now. It's not now. If we want to really count how many different there are, yeah, I can simply add here distinct. Yeah? I want to count distinct addresses, different addresses. Okay. Book three. There it is. And here you can also see where an S clause is maybe a good idea because this is getting long and long and long and long and longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's count. We're counting entries. Next time, next time we are also going to summarize something. Yeah? MySQL can not only count, it can also make a sum. Well, there is not really a good field in our database uh, to make a sum. Yeah? Because what should we summarize? Telephone numbers. Not a bad, a bad idea. Yeah? I will add another field there, then we also uh, remember how to alter the table. It's not too bad to repeat something once in a while to get it stuck. Yeah, but this will then be next time, next video. Okay, for this video with count, I think we are done. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>